Yeah, I want to show you something beautiful. He says, For if by one man's offense, death reigned by one man, much more they which receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one this Jesus Christ. Now, in some versions it says, shall reign as kings in life. As kings. Amplified says, they shall reign as kings in life. They shall reign as kings in life. They shall reign, I feel it should sink, as kings, not as survivors, not as paupers, not as subjects. It says, they shall reign as kings in this life. But let me emphasize some here. He called it the abundance of grace. He didn't call it abundant grace. Did you see that? He called it the abundance of grace. Do you know the difference? You see the difference? That grace has an abundance. Grace, the spirit of grace comes with abundance. So he calls it the abundance of grace. You see that? When you go in the literal rendering, it's, he, 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 the, the implication there is that because of grace, abundance comes. And they receive the abundance of grace. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you cannot say that you're a child of grace and, you, and, and you're not located by abundance. You are not defined by abundance. God does not want to give you... You know, there are people who say, you know, if you can just give me a good job and a house and food on my table and clothes on my body, it shall be enough. <laughs> he says, it shall be enough. Just give me that. It shall be enough. It's more than just even what he will give you in the physical things. The Bible speaks of the abundance of peace. The Bible speaks of the abundance of truth. The Bible speaks of the abundance.